the title of uh, the today topic is relativity of simultaneity what is simultaneity basically to so simultaneity we are defining uh, taking these two frame of references s and s prime s prime frame is a moving frame uh, moving with this relative velocity v with respect to s prime these uh, are the coordinate x prime y prime z prime and uh, t prime of this frame s prime frame this is an observer o prime into this frame s is a stationary frame where these two events occur simultaneously at a point and at the b point both the events occur at the same time but purposely we are writing here t1 and t2 for the event a and for the event b the distance of these two events are separated by x1 and x2 coordinates where t1 is equal to t2 and that is equal to t but uh, uh, for the s frame t2 minus t1 is equal to 0 according to the simultaneity phenomena so o this is an observer into the s frame and this is observer in o prime so what the coordinate basically measured according to the o in s frame and o prime into the s prime frame so these are two events a and b which are occurring simultaneously into the s frame so in frame s coordinates so for the event a according to the observer o will be x1 y1 z1 and t1 coordinate for the event b according to observer o that will be x2 uh, y2 z2 and t2 but remember that uh, t1 is equal to t2 and that is equal to t we can say at time t basically this event occur simultaneously so delta t is equal to basically t2 minus t1 and that is equal to 0 so uh, this is uh, basically a an event you check simultaneously simultaneously now according to this o prime observer what basically uh, he observed in his frame of reference which is moving with this relative velocity v and where t1 a prime is not equal to t2 prime where we this t1 is for the time uh, for this a event and t2 prime is the uh, time measured for this event by this o prime observer as we know from the relativity that time is not absolute and similarly length is not absolute also is speed uh, velocity everything a kinetic energy total energy potential energy everything is not absolute whatever we are measuring basically that is in uh, uh, with some reference so now for the o prime observer what will be the coordinate of this event a that will be x1 prime y1 prime z1 prime t1 prime for the event a and for the event b the coordinates according to this o prime observer will be x2 prime y2 prime z2 prime and uh, t2 prime and here in this s prime frame t1 prime is not equal to t2 prime so uh, this is the phenomena of simultaneous uh, simultaneity where two events a and b occur at the same time in s frame but uh, this is not necessary that this observation will be same for the o prime frame so our purpose is to find out this delta t prime what will be the time interval uh, between the two events according to this o prime observer so our aim is to find out the time interval between the two events according to o prime observer who is sitting into the s prime frame that is a moving frame with respect to s so delta t prime is equal to t2 prime minus t1 prime now we have to use Lorentz transformation and from the Lorentz transformation we know 
दैट टी प्राइम इज इक्वल टू टी माइनस एक्स वी अपॉन सी स्क्वायर अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट वन माइनस वी स्क्वायर अपॉन सी स्क्वायर फ्रॉम द लोरन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन वी कैन पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ टी वन प्राइम एंड टी टू प्राइम सो आफ्टर सब्सटीट्यूंग दीज टू वैल्यूज टी वन प्राइम एंड टी टू प्राइम इन दिस इक्वेशन वी आर गेटिंग दिस डेल्टा टी प्राइम इज इक्वल टू एक्स वन माइनस एक्स टू वी अपॉन सी स्क्वायर अपॉन स्क्वायर रूट वन माइनस वी स्क्वायर अपॉन सी स्क्वायर सो दिस रिजल्ट डेल्टा टी प्राइम विच इज द टाइम इंटरवल बिटवीन दीज टू इवेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस ओ प्राइम ऑब्जर्वर वेर फॉर दिस ऑब्जर्वर बोथ दी इवेंट्स अगर साइमल्टेनियसली देर इज नो टाइम लैक बट दिस ओ प्राइम ऑब्जर्वर इज ऑब्जर्विंग दैट देर इज सम टाइम इंटरवल बिटवीन दीज टू इवेंट्स एंड दीज टू इवेंट्स इंटरवल बेसिकली डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्सनल टू दी डिस्टेंस बिटवीन दोज टू इवेंट्स इफ यू आर इंक्रीजिंग द डिस्टेंस दैट मीन टाइम इंटरवल इज इंक्रीजिंग If you are more increasing the distance between these two ends, time interval automatically will increase for this O prime observer. So this uh, time interval between these two events, which were simultaneous for this observer, and now are different for this O prime observer, which is is which is associated with the moving frame and moving along the positive direction of x axis. so that is uh, basically depends on the distance between the two events and the velocity of the moving frame so here delta t prime that is time interval between these two events is directly proportional to the x1 minus x2 the distance between these two events and speed of the moving frame so this is the phenomena of simultaneity in the relativity where in uh, Uh, one frame of reference a observer is saying that uh, both the events are occurring at the same time but the second observer or moving observer is saying that there is a time interval between both the events so this is the very this is very interesting result of relativity so we can say that nothing is absolute and whatever we see here that is not true Uh, now the next uh, topic is twin paradox the twin paradox is situation first situation second situation third situation fourth in the four situ uh, these are the four situation where we just try to make clear uh, about the twin paradox in the situation first basically there are two twins a pair of twins sania and prane age of both these Uh, twins are 20 years sania is also 20 years old parne is also 20 years old and in the beginning at the in the first situation both are living in the earth uh, at the earth surface and uh, age is 20 years parne decided to go in uh, for the uh, space travel and uh, in the second situation we are just trying to show that parne is interested to go at uh, this particular star which is 20 light years away from the earth the distance of this star from the earth is uh, 20 light years he chose this space craft which is basically s prime frame the speed of this space craft is v that is approximate uh, that is basically 0.80 c to so now in the second situation sania lives behind at the earth and uh, wait for the parne uh, parne is uh, takes off on a space voyage with the speed 0.8 c uh, this space craft is equivalent to the s prime frame parne is equivalent to the o prime observer the speed of this space craft is v that is equal to 0.8 c this is a moving frame basically and the here at the surface of earth sania is correspond to the o observer and this earth is basically correspond to the s frame so s prime frame is a moving frame 
with respect to this s relative speed is 0.8 c so this one is the second situation now basically what happens so when uh, uh, in the third situation uh, this uh, pan is coming back from the star that is the third situation and in the last basically when both when Parne meet with the Sanya, uh, he said that he is 50 years old and uh, Sanya is 70 years old. And uh, Sanya says that uh, she is 70 years old and he is also 70 years old. So what is the basically paradox here? So we are just trying to explain this situation. Uh, Parne is 20 years old when he takes off on a space voyage at a speed of 0.80 c to a star that is 20 light years away. Now what uh, basically Sanya observes? Sanya according to Sanya who stay behind the pace of uh, Parne's life is slower than her by a factor of this g square root 1 minus v square upon c square that is 63%. We know by the time dilation definition that moving clock ticks more slowly than a clock at rest. So here at this point, uh, Sanya observed that uh, Parne's life is slower than her by 60%. So whatever action is taken by the Sanya and uh, Sanya, he, she suppose that uh, her action of 60% will be the uh, result of uh, uh, Parne's life. So suppose Parne's heart beats only three times for every five beats of her heart. Parne takes only three breaths for every five of hers. So Sanya says that Parne returns after 50 years, but Parne taken only 30 years for the round trip. So how to solve this dilemma between these two, uh, between Sanya and Parne? Now, what important is here to explain this uh, dilemma between these two twins? One important point is this is spacecraft. Earth, we treat, uh, we are treating Earth like in an inertial frame, but uh, a spacecraft is uh, not moving with a constant velocity, so that accelerated bit. Uh, when the, he, this spacecraft takes off from the surface of the earth and uh, when return the speed becomes lower at nearby to the atmosphere of the earth so this is accelerated frame of reference and that is the key to understand this uh, twin paradox so Parne is basically uh, using non-inertial frame of reference so this is the most important point here to explain this situation and that's why we are considering everything according to the uh, Sanya's frame of reference. So, so now uh, right now for the Parne, uh, Parne, what Parne thinks in his frame of reference, he thinks that he covers only this distance L in his frame of reference and this is equal to almost uh, 12 light years while the total distance uh, from the surface of the earth was 20 light years so this is the point uh, of uh, Parne Parne saying that he spent only 12 light years uh, sorry he, he spent uh, he basically covers only this 12 light years distance so his uh, uh, voyage uh, to the star Mm, how much time basically that will take L upon V this distance 12 light years divided by 0 0.8 C that becomes 15 years uh, 1 light years basically is the time uh, taken by the light and similarly for the return voyage uh, that will be also 15 years so total time basically is 30 years he thinks that he spent 15, 15 plus 15 total 30 years while Sanya saying that he spent 15, uh, 50 years according to his calendar so in this 
complete uh, derivation and conceptual part twin paradox one thing is related to this factor that uh, sanya is observing uh, a slowing pace of her life by 60% so everything will reduce by 60% here this uh, parne is saying that he spent only 12 light years from his frame of reference so this is the situation and the reality is uh, according to the sanya how much basically time she spent on the earth that will be true if sanya saying that he spent 50 years and now she is 70 years old that is true but uh, this parne is saying that uh, his age is 50 year uh, only 50 years 30 years he spent into the space and 20 years he was old when he takes off the wo takes off for the uh, voyage on space so the conclusion is parne cover the distance in his frame of reference and that is shortened by 12 years so this was the point related to the twin paradox